Well, how do that, chums? As I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, for you guys out there in the viewerverse, I have got a speculation video for you. Yeah, I know we've just had an update, but Expedition 3 is rumoured to be on the horizon. So, yeah, a speculation into Expedition 3 and what Expedition 3 may lead to. Excuse me, Monday. So I conducted a poll over on my community tab and you can see here that quite a lot of people are thinking that 3.6 is not a big update number. No, normally it would jump to like 4.0 if it was the yearly big update. So people are speculating or thinking that this might not be all that we're in line for this year, chums. There could be more on the cards. So doing data mining, there are new lines of code and a whole load of new icons. But on the patch notes for the update, it mentions Expedition 3, the cartographers, begin soon. Some people are speculating that it may drop around the 8th or 9th, in line with the 55th anniversary of Star Trek, so that could be a thing. And this time, chums, we're setting out the expedition with a new ship. This is an exotic ship with some new sort of fangdangly teching, including a waveform engine and a frameshift catapult. And we've already had sort of people data mine the code to find the rough outline of that expedition. So a lot of these patches do tally up. Now the waveform engine has spiked my interest since the Void X sing a melody, and a waveform is normally a wave sound, like a sound wave. And a frameshift catapult is something that we've seen in Elite Dangerous. So yeah, who knows what this may bring, but this new tech to me sort of makes me think, well, where can this new tech take us? Hopefully into the void. Now we know that at the end of this sort of expedition, we pick up a monstrous pet. One of these little kitties, and where do these little kitties come from? I'm thinking the void, since inside those abandoned buildings we've got all that weird gunk that looks like it's straight out of the void. We also have the two 4chan leaks. Now the first 4chan leak mentions that we won't be getting cities, but we would be getting smaller sorts of settlements. So that part was actually correct, and it also says that the actual update may be split into two parts because of complications and technical issues. The second 4chan leak goes into the same sort of thing that there is a delay in the summer update that gives a slightly different reason and it says that Expedition 3 would take us into the yearly update and that yearly update would be traversing the void using the living ship. However, it could be that we use this exotic ship that has new technologies that perhaps maybe our living ship is also going to get in the very near future, is my best guess. So although that 4chan leaks aren't the best sort of source for information and news, they do sort of have some sort of tangible weight to them, especially now since settlements have appeared, and also we know that there probably has been a slight delay in getting Expedition 3 out to us. So hopefully, hopefully they're going to ring true and hopefully we will see the void. So yeah, I might not have to make an apology video just yet, chums. And looking at some of these actual things that are appearing inside of the Quicksilver store and looking at their actual write-up on text. I mean, yes, there we go. We're going to get this nightmarish, soul-consuming pet. Sounds wonderful, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, you don't really want that biting at your ankles. And yes, this cartographer's expedition, it says here, escaping. Escaping the expedition planet. So I'm wondering whether we might go into the void, and it might not just be escaping the planet, but might be escaping the void on, on its entirety. Who knows? But yeah, it's got me super excited for this expedition, more so than any of the other expeditions prior, and I can't wait to get my hands on that exotic ship. I mean, I already have an exotic ship, and it's sort of white, but this one's a nice little red number, and it's a guppy. So yeah, I might just replace out my other um, exotic ship. Heck yes, and it's bright red. So anyway, guys, I'd love to hear your thoughts and feelings. Please add them in the comments. And until next time, you've been awesome. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.